Yankee Stadium as part of Red and White Weekend. Ocean City and Middle Township meeting in a non-conference Cape Atlantic League game. Tom Williams along with John Leon and Butch Gleason for all the uh, excitement of this game. And both of these teams, uh, you know, everybody's talking about tomorrow's game between Holy Spirit and St. Joe's, and it's a very important game, the top two teams in South Jersey in most rankings. But um, this game's no less important <laughs> to the players involved, and both of them are coming in 0-3, John. Well, it's just like last week. I covered a uh, an 0-3 matchup between Cedar Creek and Pleasantville, and like I said last week, and same this week. Somebody's O has to go, and we'll see what happens this week. Middle Township uh, coming in with an eight-game losing streak over two seasons, and uh, Ocean City has lost all of its three games this year, where they, they won their last game uh, last year. And the Raiders uh, still having in sophomore Chris Gabor the leading uh, touchdown pass provider in the Cape Atlantic League. He has five on the season and is top six. 6'1", 226-pound junior. He leads the team with 32 tackles in three games. So it's nice having a guy kicking off for you that's also... Uh, There's a short kick, and it's caught in the air at the 46-yard line. Good reaction for uh, Ocean City by uh, slot to the left and the receiver split wide to the right. The handoff is to Bethea. He bounces off one tackle. He's at the 50. He's at the 45 at the 40. And he's got the first down, down to the 35-yard line of Little Township. Good run off the left side. Had a lot of holes. A little over 35 again. And again, it's Bethea. And he avoids a tackle. He drives up the middle. He's inside the 10. And he's down to about the 7 or 8-yard line. And uh, what's happening up here is Gary Dagenhart's having flashbacks. Back back to the right. Of Gabor, he takes the snap, hands the ball off. Bethea drives off the left side and in for the touchdown. Made it look easy, five-yard touchdown. So Ben Bethea goes in from the five with 9:51 remaining in the first down. Senior. Mm -hmm. Handoff, going trying to go right. It case and he's caught around the shoe chops by Chris Turner, who held on long enough until he got some help. And uh, Case goes down for a loss. Durso gets the snap, hands it off inside. Touchdown. Touchdown as he shot through the line. Nigel Case. And Nigel Case makes it count. <laughs> Low snap, but he handles it. Play action, rolling right. Tucks it under him, gets a nice block. He's at the... 30 at the 35 at the 40. Gabor is across midfield. He's inside the 40, and he's uh, out of bounds inside the 35-yard line of Middle Township. I'll tell you what, Wyatt Atwood and number 62, Josh Johnson. This quarter comes to an end at uh, Cary Stadium with Ocean City and Middle Township tied at right. Zach lines up behind Gabor. It's a slot to the left, actually. The board play, play action, rolls left, fires out there, and it's intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone, he's going to bring it out. Tony brings it out to about the four or five yard line, maybe a little further than that, to the seven or eight yard line, and so that's when Middle Township will try to go to work. They're going to throw long on the first play, and it is intercepted, intercepted on a terrific deflection. Picked off by Brian Slate. The ball was tipped up in the air by Nick Zack as they double covered the receiver and Slate dove for it. Behind Gabor. Gabor takes a snap, drops back, has some time, fires down the middle. Nice catch by Turner. And he's inside the 20 to the 15. He's still going and he's down to about the 12 yard line. That was all Chris Turner because I'll tell you what, that thing was a duck going out there from Gabor. That thing fluttered all the way out there, and Turner went up and just hung there for a while. Gabor to Bethea. Bethea drives, and he's got the yard and the touchdown. touchdown. Just over the goal line, he gets the first down first, which is most important, but then he drives it into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. A two-yard run. Left. Double wing, single setback, wing back in motion, gets the ball, that's Tony, and Tony is grabbed by... Bethea back around the 50. He's going to probably be spotted at around the Middle Township 49-yard line, so a loss of about 20 yards so far today. Yep, double slot. 
Hands the ball off to Bethay, uh, to Zach. No, Bethay, no, Zach. I was right. And he's got room at the 30, at the 20. He's hit at the 10 and down at about the five-yard line, and that's the play John was talking about. Had to get a big play early because you were midfield, so you had to get at least 20 or 30. Zach did one more. He got 30, he got 46 yards out of it. And they snap it to Gabor under center, and he takes it in. Real quick snap. Quarterback sneak, and he's in. Chris Gabor from one yard out with 11 seconds or short of the, uh, the Middle Township 35-yard line. Durso hands the ball. It's bobbled. The ball's loose on the ground. Scramble for it. Ocean City's got it. And Ocean City does have it. Ocean City recovers a fumble. Vogelai tried to get the hand off and just never got a handle. All right, slot to the left. And it's Bethea up the middle. He drives to the five and he breaks free and goes off the right side for a touchdown. His third of the game. And Ocean City leads 26-6. What a nifty move he made. Made a little shift to the right, back to the left, saw the hole, showed great patience, and then just burst in from 11 yards out. Lightning delay. Seven minutes even. Exactly seven minutes left in the third quarter. Ocean City on top here, 27 to 6. And Lightning, for the second week in a row, is going to interrupt this football game. And uh, so that hasn't, uh, hasn't, hasn't happened, but uh, they are going to stop, and I think it says 30 minutes. Behind Gabor in the backfield. It's a double slot formation. Gabor gives the ball to Bethea off the left side. Has some room. He's inside the 15 and 20. Excuse me, inside the 20, close to the 15. He's down to the 16-yard line. Little sidelight on this game. Ben Bethea's already scored three touchdowns. A slot to the right, tight end on the left side, and Zach behind Gabor. Gabor takes the snap. He's looking to throw. It's a fade, and Lakotis goes up and catches it and backs down to the goal line. He's just short of the goal line. He caught the ball facing Gabor, uh, of course, and then a minute and a half left third quarter. Zach gets it right side, drives into the end zone for the touchdown. Made it look easy. So Zach scores the TD, and that is his first on a one-yard run. Out of the hold of Chris Gabor. Ball is down. The kick is high enough, but it looks like it, oh, it hits the crossbar and goes through. I'll he, tell you. he popped it straight up in the air, it looked like, but it carried far enough, hit the crossbar and hit the floor. Maybe in slow motion in, uh, in, in Bill Shawcross's highlights online this week. So Ocean City leads it 34 to 6 with 127 left. Tony wide to the left. Still a double wingback formation. It's Case. They pitch it back to him, but great penetration for Ocean City by Colton Menser, and he got help immediately from Ben Bethea. And it's a loss on the play back to the 40 yard line. Oh, Menser was in there behind the board. Gabor takes the snap, gives to Zach. He's going left. He's off the left side. He's got room at the 40. He's at the 45, at the 50, and he's pulled out of bounds by Vogelai as he gets inside the 45 to the 41-yard line of Middle Township. That'll, Big run. That'll put Zach over 100 yards for the for the game. Gabor, third and 11, and it's Turner from the slot. Turner at the 35. Turner's got the first down, down the sideline at the 50. Turner's at the 40. He's inside the 35, down to the 29-yard line, 28 maybe, and they made that play work this time, and there's no flags. And they hand the ball off, and going to be stopped back around the 10-yard line. Good penetration by Ocean City. Case couldn't get anything going. Win for Kevin Smith as head coach. So even though it took two days to complete it, it's a, it's a success for the Raiders. Middle Township lives to fight another day. They will play winless Pleasantville on Friday at Pleasantville in an, an effort to get their first win of this season. We'll take time out for a couple of messages, and then we'll be back to wrap this thing up. You're listening to Cape Atlantic League football on 98.7 The Coast.